While New Orleans was still recovering from Hurricane Katrina, Louisiana politicians delivered the city's public school system to charter school operators. Only five traditional public schools remain in the entire city. This week, the NAACP held a community forum there to discuss the transformation. The New Orleans hearing featured outraged students, outraged parents, and dismayed community members reciting a litany of the problems created by the massive change to a charter school system. The most powerful moment came when a group of students from Kids Rethink New Orleans schools took the podium and detailed the many ways the system has failed and excluded them from participating in its transformation. When the state took control of NOLA Public Schools in 2005, 7,000 mostly black teachers were fired. Veteran teachers were replaced by less qualified TFA recruits. As a result, there are now fewer experienced teachers, fewer accredited teachers, fewer local teachers, and more teachers who are likely to leave than before Katrina. New Orleans now spends 60% more on administrative costs and 10% less on instruction. The most selective, highest performing, and well-funded schools enroll fewer minorities and children with disabilities. And 86% of children can no longer attend their neighborhood school, ballooning the annual transit budget now to $30 million. A detailed 2015 report found systemic financial fraud and mismanagement of millions of dollars in local charter schools. The report documented numerous instances of fraud in charter schools in amounts ranging from tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars at 10 different schools. These problems resulted from a dramatic underinvestment in oversight, reliance on self-reporting of fraud and mismanagement, insufficient auditing techniques, and understaffed and overworked auditors. The school choice debate is only heating up as Education Secretary Betsy DeVos toured the country singing the praises of school vouchers despite all the evidence that shows students who use vouchers underperform on standardized tests. But it could just be the students who take back their schools. As one youth organizer writes, we can and will do it. We'll take our education in our own hands because we're the experts of our own experience. Hope springs eternal. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find me again next week.